Good evening, and welcome to another one of my segments of A Verse a Day Keeps the Muslims Away. Today I'll be reading two little verses, or more, uh, from the Book of the Women, Al Nisa, Ayy Rakam Arbaut Menin, verse number 84. <clears throat> Fight them in Allah's way. This is not imposed on you except in relation to yourself and rouse the believers to ardor. Maybe Allah will restrain the fighting of those who disbelieve. And Allah is strongest in prowess and strongest to give an, an exemplary punishment. Let's skip ahead to verse 89. They desire that you should disbelieve as they disbelieve, so that you might be all alike. Therefore, take not from among them friends until they fly, hold the thought, until they fly in Allah's way. But if they turn back, then seize them and kill them wherever you find them and take not from, from among them a friend or a helper. All right. <clears throat> Obviously, these two little verses deal with, you know, Disbelievers, what you should do to them, kill them, blah, 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 blah. Same old story again and again and again. Gets boring doing it. However, somebody, a believer, told me that I am being unfair because I am leaving out verses in between. So, I think I should be 100% fair and read to you the verses between verse 84 and verse 89 so that we may see what's going on in between. Obviously, there could be something that can explain what's going on. So, if, you're, if you recall verse 84, Allah is strongest to give an exemplary punishment. Moving on. Verse 85. Whoever joins himself to another in a good cause shall have a share of it. And whoever joins himself to another in an evil cause shall have the responsibility of it. And Allah controls all things. Verse 86. And when you are greeted with a greeting, sir, <clears throat> greet with a better greeting than, than it, or return it. Surely Allah takes account of all things. Verse 87. Allah, there is no God but He. He will most certainly gather you together on the resurrection day. There is no doubt in it. And who is more true than the word of Allah? Verse 88. What is the matter with you? Then you have become two parties about the hypocrites, while Allah has made them return to unbelief. For what they have earned, do you wish to guide them uh, whom Allah has caused to err, and whomever Allah caused to err, you shall be by no means find a way for them. And then goes back to verse 89. What I'm trying to say here is, there is no connection between verse 84 and verse 89 and I'm supposed to be diagnosed with bipolar disorder uh, who the hell wrote this uh, seriously you're jumping from you're jumping from <clears throat> at one point Allah's giving an exemplary punishment moving on to um, <clears throat> if you do good deeds you'll be part of it if you don't do good deeds you'll be part of it you'll feel its punishment and uh, then moving on to hey if you give a greeting say hello and then moving on to, there is no God but Allah. And then moving on to, uh, hypocrites and hypocrisy. Uh, what's going on here? Seriously, what the he Okay. Obviously, we've realized, for you who wanted for me to read in between the verses so that I'm not m missing out on anything, as you see, we're not missing out on anything. All right. I do want to take your attention back to verse 89 where it says, Therefore, <clears throat> take not from among them friends until they fly in Allah's way. Um, I am certain that back in the 7th century, people can fly and there's probably a different way. Maybe it should have been fled or flee. But let's look at the Arabic version. <clears throat> Shall we? فَلَا تَتَّخِذُوا مِنْهُمْ أولياء حتى يهاجروا في سبيل الله يهاجروا in terms instead of fly they're saying يهاجروا until they vacate until they emigrate 
So pretty much until they get the hell out of their homes and leave, if they don't do that, kill them, don't even take them as friends, don't even take them as slaves. Just kill them where the fuck you find them. And that's all I have for today. You have a wonderful evening.